Good morning to one and all. Another update from Northern California where it's supposed to be hot again today and I hope that uh, you're able to stay cool. This is your daily Elmira Baptist Church update for Monday, June 22nd, 2020. A little bit of news first. We are collecting an offering for the Liviocos. Uh, Robert Roberto uh, Livioco, Dr. Livioco, ministers in the Manila area of the Philippines and has not been with us for some time, but those of you who have met him speak highly of him. And our recent visitor, uh, Brother Lynch, also knows uh, the Liviocos and spoke highly of them. Well, about two weeks ago, he had pneumonia. He went to the hospital. At some point there, they realized he was having a heart attack went in for surgery, but because they didn't know if he had the COVID-19 virus or not, it complicated all of his treatment. Long story short, he ended up with four stints in, in his heart to open up those passageways, uh, those uh, arteries. Uh, and just the way it all works in Philippines, I don't live there, I don't know, but he did not have insurance and his bill was $40,000. The hospital in the Philippines said he couldn't leave the hospital till he paid it. God has been good. He's already had $30,000 provided, but is still trying to raise the last $10,000. Some of you have already given to that, and I thank you. I thank you for your faithful giving during a time of uncertainty. We took an offering for the Nordstroms, uh, raised more than $2,000. The love offering for Ken Lynch came to more than $1,800, almost $2,000. I feel awkward asking again, but I'm not asking. I'm just saying, here's the need. If the Lord lays it on your heart to give, praise Him, and I would be grateful to have your help in with the Liviocos. We need to try to wrap that all up this Sunday and get that to Him uh, next week. So if you would get that to us, either mail it to the church, P.O. Box, uh, 160 Elmira, California, 95625, or drop it in the offering when you come on Wednesday or Sunday night. We are meeting again at the church on Wednesday night, 7 o'clock. We will also continue to live stream all of these services. And uh, so I hope you'll join us either in person or by live stream on Wednesday night. A couple of other things. Cindy is working on the flower ministry uh, schedule. And she does not want to presume that you can continue to help her. So if you've helped in the past and you have not contacted her or she has not contacted you, please just let her know with a call, a text, or an email that you'd be glad to help with the flower ministry. If you've not helped in the past and you'd be willing, it's probably going to be about once every six weeks, once every two months, bring a nice flower arrangement for the church. Please let her know. You don't have to purchase it if you have flowers in your garden that you can make an artful arrangement of, that would be fabulous. So just let her know, and that schedule, this Sunday is covered, but that schedule will be coming out soon to start the first Sunday of July, which is July 5th. And then also, send us your pictures. I say send us. Don't, don't send us a digital copy. Uh, our, our great preference here is if you'll drop off a developed photo at the church, put it in Cindy's box, or send, again, by mail to the church, P.O. Box 160, Elmira, California, 95625. Develop photos of what you did during the stay-at-home orders. Uh, some people <laughs> had a house um, renovation project. I know some people worked on puzzles, read books, whatever it is. One person said to me, well, we're going to have to recreate one of the photos. That's fine. You create one, recreate one of those photos, send it in, get it to us, and we want to put our photo, change our photo board to those, to those pictures. If you would continue to pray for the Liviocos, he is out of the hospital, and much of the bill has been paid for, but they uh, are just relying on the Lord for the rest. And of course, we want to pray that God strengthens him and re-energizes him for the ministry. Also pray for Henry Vallas. He had a cornea transplant uh, about two weeks ago now, and that has not progressed as well as the doctor would like. So as hard as it is for Henry, he spoke, he, the doctor's orders are to be at home and sit, not bend over, not be busy, and that's very hard for Henry. So pray for him, pray for Dora as well as she takes care of him. Our Bible lesson today is from Psalm 57, 
So if you have your Bible, let me encourage you to get it. Look with me at Psalm 57. I was just going to pick a verse out of this, and then I looked in front of it, and there were some good ver verses there, and then I looked behind it, and there were some good verses there, and I said, I'm just going to share the whole psalm with you this morning. I hope it encourages you. Psalm 57 says this, Be merciful unto me, O God. Be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. What, what a great start to a psalm. Let me read that last verse again, last half of that verse again. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. I will cry unto God most high, unto God that performeth all things for me. And this is the verse that originally drew my attention. Verse 3, he shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of them that would swallow me up. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. My soul is among lions, and I lie even among them that are set on fire. Even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows and their tongues, and their tongue a sharp sword. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They have digged a pit before me into the midst whereof they are fallen themselves. Selah. My heart is fixed, O God. My heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. Awake up, my glory. Awake, psaltery and harp. I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Again, verse 3. He shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. Selah. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. Part of praying for revival, part of praying for a renewal, for a, for a renewal of God's people is that God would send forth his mercy, yes, and be merciful, merciful to us, but also that he'd send forth his truth. There's a serious deficit of truth in our land. Truth, the Bible says, truth has fallen in the streets. People don't even pay attention to it anymore. Let's pray that God would send forth his mercy and his truth that he would send forth his, pour out his grace upon his people and help each one of us to live lives that shine so brightly that others see our good works and glorify our Father in heaven. Live lives that are savory, like salt, salty Christians that impact the people around us. Lives that are distinctively different. But we need God's help for that. Don't be surprised at the reproaches, at the people digging pits for us, at fo folks casting, uh, shooting arrows and casting spears. They have teeth like swords, the Bible says, but the pit they dig, the Bible says, is for themselves because we have a God who will rescue us, who will protect us. I hope that encourages you this morning as it encouraged me when I read it because God is still in control. We'll meet again tomorrow at 11 o'clock.